Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special submission match. Hailing from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nothing fancy about this man. You talk about it in your face, that's who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Well, you're right about that. Steve Austin is six foot two, 252 pounds. And he said there's not a human being walking the face of the earth that can make him say, I quit. You know what? I think I believe him. His opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Red Hitman Hart. And here he comes, Brett the Hitman Hart. You really happy to see him again, King? Well, I'm going to try to leave my personal history with Hart out of this, JR. Let me just say that, like this crowd, my feelings toward the so-called Hitman are mixed. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Argsman, and we're back in WWE 2K16 Showcase Mode Austin 316. Today, uh, at this match, we have WrestleMania 13, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Bret Hart in a submission match with Ken Shamrock as the special guest referee. Of course, it's none of them, Ken Shamrock. Anyways, today we got, or for the first objective, we have damaged Bret Hart. And we are almost there for that first objective being done. And Bret Hart gets us with the suplex. Come on, get up, get up, get up. And another reversion sleep what? It's leg sweep. I don't know why it's a sweep leg. All right, reverse. Come on. Just like last episode, I hate facing Bret Hart because he reverses every single damn thing. And once he reverses it, there's no way to reverse him. I don't know why. It's just Bret Hart. No one else on the damn roster pisses me off more than Bret Hart. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our Come on. Here. Get back in this. Nope. Nope. This and, if Bret Hart and Bret goes over the top rope as our next ob objective is Irish Whip Bret Hart into a barricade. And uh, you might as well know what's going Oh, he reverses. He reverses me into the stairs. Come on. Into the barricade. Boom. What's the next one? Oh, damage Bret Hart again. Really? All right. Once more. Here, well, inflicting more damage upon Bret Hart. Actually, is he not counting this out? He's not counting this out. I forgot. Is this going to do disqualifications count? Like, can I do disqualifications? <laughs> Come on, get this, get the, get this back in the ring, Hart. Come on. He doesn't want to do this outside the Swinging neck breaker. It's like a lot more damage. Come on. And, and of course, a reversal. reversal. Why not? The human body can only Big suplex. Let that reversal today. load up. This is a oh crap! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! There we go. Woo, that was close. It was really close. Oh no. The collision. Come on. Oh, the guillotine. The guillotine. Oh man. Bret Hart inflicting more damage on us than we are inflicting damage on him. Damage so on him. Come on. Right down the by our guest here. 
Why aren't you why aren't you saying Ken Shamrock's name? Did he do something? Boom. Boom. Alright, got the damage done. Perform a stunner on Bret Hart in the ring. Gotta work up towards that finisher. Don't really have the signature yet either, but let's do this. Maybe taunting. I don't know. Get some get some momentum built up. And probably go into the next uh the next cutscene after this, I think. Maybe. Possibly. You never know. Boom! Alright, got the signature. Let's go and do the the running elbow or whatever this is called. Boom. And let's go for a charge finisher. Come on. Oh yep. <clears throat> We are in Chicago. This is WrestleMania 13. Neither Austin or the Hitman have ever submitted in their professional careers. It's all on the line here. A lot of pride. Who's the alpha male? Nice leg sweep by the by the Hitman. And this crowd is going wild, JR. They're they're waiting to hear one of these superstars say they quit. You gotta think that the Hitman is second sharpshooter. Focusing on the leg of so Cold Steve Austin. Uh oh, this is not going to be good for the rattlesnake. Oh man, Bret Hart. Oh man, look at this. Ow! The figure four using that ring post as leverage. Shamrock trying to free so Cold. And Austin, the damage has been done. Austin in a bad, bad way. But he still will not say he quits. Some nice damage. On uh, on Bret Hart or on Stone Cold, I don't know what I'm talking about. On Stone Cold here. Let's get this back in the ring. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Boom! Grab him at the head. All right, quick time event. Let's do this. Get this over with. Atomic drop. I inverted atomic drop on Stone Cold. What's going on? What's gonna happen? Quick time event. What's going on? Oh, grabs the chair. He grabs the chair. Oh, going for the knee again. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna be dead bad, JR. It's gonna be real bad. Is Hart going to the top? Is Hart going to the top? What? Hold up. Hold on. What? I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that there was a button. What? I didn't even notice that there was a button. What? Look out! Come on. Red Hart bringing a steel chair in the ring. It's as legal as a wrist lock. Things are about to get ugly. Oh! Right to the leg. Fingers crossed. Come on, man. Oh, no, no, no. Damn, this got is a... This is going to be dead bad, JR. This is going to be real bad. Look at this. Finally. This oh, my back. God. Bret Hart took too long. Stone Cold got a chair. Oh, man. Oh. The steel chair right in the spot. Steel chair to the back, ahead of, to the back of the head of Bret Hart. Oh, man. Oh, look at Austin. He is begging Bret Hart to get back to his feet. And that... Uh-oh. Look out, JR. Austin's got the chair. Austin keeping his word. He said he was, oh, my God. Ooh. He said he was going to beat the hell out of Hart. And he's doing it. That steel chair. He's the staggering, staggering on the it. knee. The stakes are high. Damage by Hart again. Let's grab that chair. Let's go ahead and grab the I'm chair. Not so Why not? No disqualifications or anything. Right oh. Say the entire WWE locker room Boom. Right to the He's gut of Bret Hart. Oh, oh no, he reverses. And so go, what are you doing, man? Huh, that might have realigned the spine permanently. Wait, is he still conscious? Here we go. Man, Reversal. Wait for him to get up. Oh no, I'm out of momentum. No, you're good, you're good. Chill. You're good. Just, man, just, that one just wait. Him. Get that momentum up. All right, you can get up now. <laughs> Go ahead and stand up. Stand up from here. Well, I need a target. 
I don't imagine that this will be Luthez press as usual. Repeated attacks of the head. And we're right there. We're just right there. It's stunner no. His strike. His Green stunner. stunner. Grapple a prone Bret Hart at, at his head in the ring. Steve the same Austin thing as Stefine, or it isn't. I'm not so Good wrenching on the neck of Stone Cold. Right oh, come on. Middle, oh wait. Really pushing his oh come on. Get up. Get up. Don't let him do this. Don't let him do this, dude. Don't let him do this. No. 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 He's pulling out all the stops. Good. Good. Yup, reverses pile driver again. There we go. The hitman Red Hart. Trying to lock oh. in the sharpshooter king. You know how that feels. Yes, it I is do. Deadly painful. Oh my gosh! And Bret Hart has it cinched in. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't think he's got any choice, Jr. He's gonna have to say, "I quit." Austin, a long way from the ropes. He can't reach the ropes. Referee Ken Shamrock, right down in Austin's face, to hear him say, "I quit." Austin in a bad, bad way, obviously. Wait a minute. Bret got off balance. Bret lost his balance there. Lost his his leverage. But he didn't re relinquish the hold. Oh, he's still got it locked in and now applying even more pressure. An amazing display of guts. Oh, Listen to Shamrock. He's saying, Austin, do you quit? Do you quit? Shamrock's done an amazing job of officiating this match. Austin has passed out. That's it. Austin is unconscious. As a result of Stone Cold Steve Austin losing consciousness, the winner of this bout, Brett Hitman Hart. The match is over. The referee has stopped it. Austin cannot continue. And there's no reason for Bret Hart to continue this onslaught. He's won the match, but he's frustrated that he couldn't make Austin say, I quit. He's going to try to put that sharpshooter on again. Shamrock, look at Shamrock. Shamrock with a takedown, waistlock takedown, and Shamrock will fight you, Bret. He will fight you right now. Bret Hart showing no sportsmanship whatsoever after winning this controversial match here at WrestleMania 13. Well, Bret Hart wins, but Stone Cold Steve Austin just too stubborn to say, I quit. And this crowd chanting, Austin, Austin. Man, what a, we come in here, Hart was a fan favorite. Austin was the enemy. They leave the different hey, roles. Stunner! Austin on one leg. You never trust a rattlesnake. Never. They don't make good corporate pets, let me tell you. Austin on one leg. Refuse to say I quit. In the wake of WrestleMania 13, as audiences began to gravitate towards Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dark cloud began to form separating the hitman from fans south of the Canadian border. First of all, I want to apologize. What? To all my great fans in Canada. For what? And to you, my fans right here across the United States of America, I apologize for nothing. You take a gunless creep like Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him to a bloody pulp, even though you all know that he lost cheer him on the way back to the dressing room like he won. You don't respect me. Well, the fact is, the American wrestling fans can kiss my ass. Let me clear the air because I never, ever said I quit. You never got the job done. As Bret Hart's relationship with the American fans continued to crumble. Americans don't give a damn about family the hitman would turn to his family to forge a new foundation i'm asking you for your help because i need you it would take more than numbers to rattle the rattlesnake i'm finished with you you'll have to kill me to be finished with me the only way i'm going to get stone cold steve austin off my back is to end his career like a pack of wolves 
One of these days, April 20th at In Your House, I'm gonna look down at your grave. Here lies Brett the Hitman Hart. Cause Steve Boston whipped his pink and black <laughs> And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold sets up. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for uh, for watching. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more WWE 2K16 content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please do me a favor and have yourselves a damn good day. Peace.